if we send a high energy beam of light to a nonlinear crystal, we can convert a high frequency photon into two low frequency photons. This is a nonlinear phenomenon called a spontaneous parametric down conversion. Here, energy is conserved and momentum is conserved. But there are other nonlinear phenomena worth mentioning. We saw that the polarization can be written in terms of the susceptibility of the material and the applied electric field, the field that induces those dipoles. If we have an isotropic material, the second order term will not be present. Isotropic would mean that the direction is not relevant and an E field should produce the same effect as a minus E field. But if the medium is not isotropic and the E field is strong enough, we can have second order effects. For an electromagnetic wave that we describe as a cosine function, the polarization P2 is written and using trigonometry We write this polarization as a constant term, a DC bias field, and an oscillating field that oscillates with twice the original frequency. This polarization that oscillates is going to generate electromagnetic wave of twice the frequency of the incoming wave. So we can generate photons of half the wavelength of the incoming photons. This we call the second harmonic generation. This is due to the second order term, but we will also have the first order term, so also photons of the fundamental frequency. In order for this to happen, we have that multiple fundamental photons interact at the same molecule, combine and generate the double frequency photons because this process can take place at any point in the nonlinear medium, the intensity of the fundamental mode will decrease while that of the second harmonic will grow. The radiance of the second harmonic is proportional to the sine square of delta over delta squared, where delta is delta k z over 2. Delta K is the difference between the wave number of the second harmonic and the fundamental, and Z is the distance traveled inside the nonlinear medium. Because the wave number K in the medium is n 2 pi over lambda, inside the medium the index n can be different for the second harmonic and for this fundamental. Delta K is 2 omega over C times delta of N, but this process is phase sensitive. This means that it will be produced dependent on the relative phases of the incoming fundamental photons. We call it phase matching when delta N is zero when the index of refraction of both waves is the same, so that both travel at the same speed. This might depend on the angle, too. Space science, be with you.